Feeling any better? Well, let's just say I feel more relaxed than I was 24 hours ago. Hmm. Like I said yesterday, if we could just keep this between ourselves. Sure. And like I said, it's very generous of you. You've been a good friend. There's every chance I wouldn't be here today if you hadn't talked some sense into me a couple of months back. Maybe. Although I'm not sure that you're on death's door. Given a week or two more of whiskey for breakfast, I'm not so sure about that. You can fill the amount in when you know what the damage is. I don't know what to say. Now it's your turn to be a lifesaver. And um, the other good news is that I've managed to persuade casters to have their events somewhere other than home farm. Uh, Kim will be pleased. Mm, won't you just? And with their budget being sky high, I'll be able to pay back sooner rather than later. That's good to hear. But there's no time limit. Just make sure you get yourself the best lawyer, and with any luck, you won't be going to prison. Yeah, I hope you're right. <laughs> ah! Well, not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, thanks again. Anytime. Frank. Graham. So. What was that all about? Well, Rishi gave me the afternoon off so I could shift my stuff back over to yours. That's great. Is it? Came here to borrow your keys. Maybe I shouldn't bother. I was going to tell you. Oh, I am all ears. Graham's lent me the money to pay Callum. I see. And is that the real reason you've invited me to move back in this morning? Guilty conscience? No. I want us to live together again. I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to feel... Small? Jealous? Yeah, to be honest. Are you two still involved? No. He's just being a good friend like I was to him. He offered, and look, you were the one who told me to get a good lawyer, and now I can afford one. Yeah, I suppose that is true. But, I mean, are you really sure that this is the best option? Well, what other option have I got? No. Of course. Hey, I, I get it, really. I do. 